everyone, it's Kayla, and today I'm doing my Christmas book haul for you all. Uh, last year I hauled all of my Christmas presents, but this year I'm just going to haul all of my bookish items and my Funko Pops that I got. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Are we really surprised at this point? So I think for 2018, every time I post a video, I'm done apologizing for being absent. I'm done apologizing for having crappy lighting. If I want to film a video, I should film a video while I have the motivation to, regardless of lighting, regardless of what I look like, and isn't that all that really matters? So some of my booktube friends and I exchanged gifts. I exchanged gifts with Adriana from Perpetual Pages. They got me Cucumber Quest, The Donut Kingdom, Volume 1, and I believe this started out as a webcomic. I know Adriana absolutely loves it, and leafing through it, I haven't read it yet, but the colors are so vibrant and so beautiful. I love the artwork so much, and I don't know much about this, but Adriana raves about it, so I'm sure I'm going to love it. So thank you, Adriana. I also exchanged gifts with Geraldine from Geraldine Talks, and we've been friends for a while here, and she sent me Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, and I've heard nothing but great things about Celeste Ng. This is going to be my first book by her that I'm going to read, and I'm just so excited to have this. It might actually be my first read of 2018, so I'm very excited to get into this. I'm going to be honest, I'm not really sure what this is about either. I think it's about a suburb, like suburban life, and motherhood, and different things like that. I heard that Celeste Ng is famous for her characterization that is just absolutely amazing. So I'm sure I'm going to love this and I'm going to be reading it very, very soon. Geraldine also got me A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I just didn't own it in physical copy, so I'm very glad to have it in my collection. For those of you that don't know, this is about two women in Afghanistan. They end up married to the same man and the book spans about 30 years and it's just eye-opening and I highly recommend it, especially if you love The Kite Runner by Khaled Hassini, which I did. I just love Khaled Hassini, so, you know, anytime he wants to write another book, that'd be great. So then some of my booktube friends did a name exchange, and Mari from My Name is Marina has had me, and she got me The Refrigerator Monologues by Catherine M. Valenti, and this is a short kind of novella, short story collection kind of deal, um, anthology kind of deal, about the women who get refrigerated in, like, comics and superhero stories um, just for the sake of the male character to progress in the story and it's about them like sitting in a self-help group I feel like in hell or wherever they're sent to after they die and just like complaining and waiting for the next time that they're needed essentially in the story and I just think it's a fantastic premise. And then she also got me the library edition of Avatar The Last Airbender North and South comic and Like, <laughs> look at this book. I've been collecting the Avatar comics ever since they started releasing them. I think I have four trilogies now, but this is the fifth one, and this is the first time that I'm owning the library edition of the trilogies, and now that I have this one, I want to go back and collect all of them in this edition. Look at this. Like, it is incredible, and... I just can't stop smiling about it. <laughs> Basically the difference is instead of collecting individual volumes of the trilogy, like I have like 12 over there and they're like littler obviously, this collects the whole trilogy and also has commentary like on the side from the creators and stuff. So I think that's like amazing. Oh my god that smells so good. Thank you so much Mari, like you have no idea. I am a huge huge Avatar fan, I always will be. I need more of this universe, like if 2018 can bless us with a Netflix series, like, because Nickelodeon doesn't know how to appreciate it, just saying. Just a PSA, if you're an Avatar fan and you love the television show and you haven't gotten into the comics yet, it's canon. It's amazing and you should. Okay, moving into what my family and friends got me for Christmas. My dad got me I Hate Fairyland Volume 3 by Scotty Young. This one's called Good Girl, and this is quickly becoming one of my favorite comic series. It's hilarious, and I can't say enough about it. The artwork is so vibrant and colorful, and it's just, like, it's marketed as Deadpool meets Alice in Wonderland, and I say that in every video that I talk about it, but it's true. Like, it's true. It's vulgar, and gross but since it's colorful you don't even realize how gory it is and the main character is just so terrible it's hilarious like there's no other term for it and I highly highly recommend I Hate Fairyland if you like comics because this shit is gold. So then my sister got me Giant Days Volume 6 and if you've been following my channel for a while you know I absolutely love this comic like it's probably my favorite ongoing comic 
after Saga, or maybe even better than Saga. I just love it so much. It's about three friends in college. It's hilarious. It's heartwarming. It's a refreshing break from all the sex and killing and war and stuff in my other comics that I read. Uh, I just can't say enough about it. And if you haven't picked this up yet and you like comics, what are you doing with your life? Like, I highly recommend it, especially if you don't like comics. This is a great gateway into comics. My sister also got me The Obelisk Gate and The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. This is the second and third book in the Broken Earth trilogy. I just read the fifth season at the end of the year, and it was my last read of the year, and it made it on my favorites list. I absolutely loved it. Why did I put it off so long? But at least I did it long enough that I can read the second and third back to back. So as I held these up, I just realized they're two different sizes. Like, what's that about? I just realized that. Like, I'm not saying nothing, but... So then my dad got me The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, and I've heard nothing but amazing things. I know Adriana loved this. I know Connor loved this from Connor O'Brien. I just can't wait because I love all things Trojan War. This is centered around Achilles, obviously, and his relationship with Patroclus, and I am just here for it. My dad also got me Hungry Heart by Jennifer Weiner. Jennifer Weiner is one of my favorite contemporary authors. She writes a lot of chick lit, and she's normally an insta-buy, insta-read author for me. She has been for about 15 years, <laughs> let me be real. And she wrote an autobiography about her adventures in love, life, writing, etc, etc. And I knew that I just had to have that in my collection. I had to read that as soon as possible. So yes, I definitely, definitely am grateful that I got this. So then my dad got me Every Heart of Doorway and Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean and McGuire. And I actually read both of these through audiobook last year. They're really short, about four hours each. And the narration's great. And just the imagination that went into like writing these books is incredible. And I just can't wait to read the third one coming out this month. But for those of you that don't know, basically it's about a world where when children come home from the fantasy worlds that they're like allowed to escape to they need support they need people around them that know what it feels like to lose something like that so they go to like a support home and ran by Eleanor West and it's just phenomenal and the concepts are just so imaginative and I just enjoy this so much and there's definitely a lot of LGBTQ rep for example, the first book features an asexual main character, and I really appreciate that a lot. And yeah, I'm so happy that I started collecting these in physical copy. I will say, though, that the audiobooks are an experience. Like, I feel like these stories were meant to be read out loud. That's how good the audiobooks are, and they're done by the author. So I highly recommend checking the audiobooks out. My dad's fiance got me The Expanse Trilogy by James A. Corey. The Oh, I'm sorry, James S. A. Corey. Oh my goodness, I forgot there's an S there. The first book being Leviathan Wakes. I'm assuming it's basically a sci-fi epic. Uh, for example, the back blurb says science fictional equivalent of A Song of Ice and Fire. My dad also got me Joanna Basford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. She kind of wrote a children's story for her next coloring book but it's also a coloring book, so it's just so pretty. I just love Joanna Basford coloring books, and I'm a sucker for them. And while I don't color often, I just collect hers. I just have to have them. Like, when I opened this, my sister was like, do you even color? I'm like, one page in the last three years, but I need to own them in my collection. What can I say? They're just so pretty. My sister also got me Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the illustrated edition. And just leafing through this, it is just so beautiful, guys. Like, ooh, I don't know what that paper was. But yeah, it's fully illustrated and it's about the same size as the Harry Potter illustrated books. And it just illustrates all the animals and creatures. So then my mama got me Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban illustrated edition. She's been getting me them every single year for Christmas. So I'm so excited, obviously. This cover is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the first two covers were great, but this cover, the way it's dark and everything, I just love it so much. And... If you guys haven't taken a moment to look at the illustrations, it contains the full text, which is absolutely incredible, but the illustrations are just unbelievable. For example, that's just a chapter title page. This is the Marauder's Map, obviously. I just love it so much. They keep getting thicker every year, obviously, so I don't know what they're going to do next year. Like, are they going to split Goblet of Fire into two parts? Like, I'm assuming, because how can I hold up a 700-page 
illustrated edition of Goblet of Fire. Just gonna put that out there. So then the last bookish item that I have to show you before I get into my Funkos. Whew, the Boyfriend got me The Name of the Wind 10th Anniversary Edition. I have wanted this since I've heard about it. And the pages are stained red. It's just so beautiful. The spine is gold. And it's just, I can't stop smiling every time I look at it. And like the inside is even like all decked out. It says, my name is Foth. I have stolen princesses back from sleeping borrow kings. You know the saying, if you've read The Name of the Wind. I mean, you know what it says. Um, and then Patrick Rothfuss also wrote an introduction and I feel like it's significant about like 2000 words. So any new writing from Patrick Rothfuss, I'm here for, okay? Just, I'm here for it. The book also contains some illustrations. Um, I think about like 15 or 20. I want to say that much. For example, there's Quoth playing his lute, obviously. <laughs> um... But yeah, just, it's absolutely stunning. And I didn't own this in physical copy yet, so I thought I would wait for this edition, and it does not disappoint. I mean, 2017, yes, I had read The Name of the Wind the re previous year, but I feel like 2017 was the year that I really became obsessed with it. Like, I really, really became obsessed with it. I re-listened to it on audiobook um, on my commute and I just got more obsessed with the world and I'm just so happy to have this. It's definitely one of my all-time favorite series. I think I'm anticipating the third book more than The Winds of Winter at this point, which is huge to say, uh, but yeah, I'm just so excited to own this. So then last but not least, I got the Wonder Woman Funko Pop. She is my queen. I also got Mae from Westworld. Uh, she's the character played by Thandie Newton. She is the saloon girl. And I absolutely love her character so much. And Thandie Newton plays her so perfectly. <laughs> like, I love it so much. And I'm so happy to have her in my collection. And I also got Crash Bandicoot because... I love Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I am such an old school gamer. Like I love platform games and I grew up with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. So I'm just so happy to have Crash. Look at him. But if that Crash wasn't enough, my cousin, <laughs> my cousin got me this Crash Bandicoot figurine. <laughs> it's like a 10 inch statue. And I just love it so much. Like my sister got me the little Funko and when she handed it to me, she's like, here, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> but yes, it does matter. But look at him. He's just so happy. He's so crazy. And I'm just so happy to own this. Like I never thought that I would get something like this. That is just so hilarious. I love it so much. And as I bang my chin, ooh, highly, highly excited to have this. And it's definitely going on my bookshelf. And then my friend Christina got me Ober and Martell. This is the fifth Game of Thrones figure that she's got me. I have Ned, Jamie, Marjorie, and John. And now I have Oberyn, and he looks fantastic. I love it so much. He could be my champion any day, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, that's it for my Christmas book haul. Let me know below what you all got for Christmas. Let me know below if you read any of these books. And I will see you all soon in another video. I hope you have a great new year. Bye!